Today we're taking a close look at one of, if not the smallest, most compact and affordable conveyor dryers on the market, the Vastex D100. So for those of you not familiar with the D100, I don't know what's wrong with you, man, but get your head in the game. This is an entry-level conveyor dryer that's really geared for small to medium-sized print shops, a lot like my own. You can kind of think of this as a Dodge Neon of the screen printing conveyor dryer industry, or maybe it's the like the Honda, that used Honda Accord that you bought when you were in high school, thinking that it'll impress that one girl you liked, but she's not impressed. Not when Nick has a Dodge Charger and a pocket full of Magnums that he probably won't be using when he plows into her for the next 10 years until they eventually get divorced. And she's had her kicks and she finally decides that she wants to settle for someone more responsible. But by this point you're too jaded and you're not willing to give up your integrity. The D100 is affordable, it's very compact, it's NEMA 515P compatible which means it's great for someone like me who has this set up in their basement and they can just plug it into any outlet in their home. Any three pronged 15 amp outlet to be more specific. And when I say this thing is compact, I really mean it. I drove a Toyota Yaris when I went to go pick this thing up and I put it in my trunk and it fit in the back of that small Yaris with room to spare. The exact measurements are in the description below if you're interested in that kind of thing. Another thing that I want to note is that as mentioned before, I bought this pre-assembled. Now, depending on where you buy this from, there's a good chance that it might not be assembled already. I've seen some other videos on YouTube where people bought this and they came in boxes and they had to assemble it themselves. And from what I could tell, it didn't look like a good time. So it might be good to keep that in mind. I would certainly encourage you to check your local area for screen printing suppliers. If you manage to find one that has these in stock, they might be able to assemble it for you and it would save you some time. Now I've had this for a few weeks now and I've had the chance to put it through the ringer to see how it performs. And I gotta say it works great and so far it's been 100% worth the investment. Especially if you were in a position like I was because before I bought this thing I was using a flash dryer to cure all my prints. It gets the job done but it can be time consuming and in my opinion the absolute worst part about curing prints with the flash dryer is not having the full confidence that the full area of my print was 100% cured. I learned very early on that if I wasn't careful, some of the corners and edges of my larger designs wouldn't reach the proper temperature. And although they would be cured to the touch, there was a possibility that those corners and edges would fade after a single wash. But with a conveyor dryer, and not just this one, but just conveyor dryers in general, they can provide a lot more confidence for you that, they, that your full design will get evenly cured. And yeah, it'll save you some time by making your print runs go a lot faster, which is nice too but the D100 definitely checks both of those boxes. This dryer also offers a great level of control featuring two control knobs, one to control the temperature and one to control the belt speed. The temperature control in particular tends to be absent in other budget dryers like the entry level Little Buddy dryer, which only allows you to control the belt speed. There's also two nifty levers along the top that adjust the height of the dryer. So it can go up and down and you can also put it at an angle if you prefer. Now, according to Vastex, this is to allow you to cure hats. I haven't been able to test this out because I'm not yet set up to print hats, but I'm glad this is an option, although I doubt I'll ever be able to use it because I plan on going the, uh, what's it called, the Stalls heat press route for future hat prints. Now there are two issues or stipulations that you should be aware of. One is that the width of the belt is very narrow and a regular adult sized t-shirt won't fit on it if you lay it down fully open like this. You have to fold in the sleeves kind of like this and make sure that it's as flat as possible. It's certainly not a deal breaker or anything, but it does mean that there's a limit to the width of your design that can be printed. I, I use 20 by 24 inch screens, which work perfectly fine, but anything larger than that, you run the risk that it might not be compatible. Second, there seems to be a minor issue on mine where the belt doesn't like to stay centered. And as you can see in this time lapse, it likes to travel and veer off to one side. As a result, I've been having to recenter the belt every 15 to 20 minutes, which certainly isn't ideal, but this really seems like a simple fix. I just have to do some troubleshooting to figure out what causes it to be off of alignment. I'm not too worried about it. It's still under warranty for one thing, and if I can't figure it out, I'll just contact Vastex and see if they have a solution. Either way, I'll post some updates about this issue to TikTok, so be sure to follow me over there. 
Also, you'll need to get yourself a table or a cart with a flat surface to set this on because it obviously doesn't come with the legs or any kind of support system. I'm just using a $15 plastic folding table that I got from Walmart and it works pretty good. As for the cost, I was able to get mine for about $1,895. As of the recording of this video, August 2021, it looks like the D100 is selling for about $2,000 or just under $2,000. So if you're looking to make a new investment for your print shop and you think that it might be time to try out an entry level conveyor dryer, or maybe you're just trying to fill that, that empty void in your soul, I still think that the Vastex D100 is a good choice. Let me know if you have any questions about this thing and I'm gonna try to answer them in the comments below, but I think that's about it, so go away. But again, no woman in the entire planet will ever give a shit about your D100.